right, we have arrived in Yokeville. It's a cute little town in Napa. Napa Valley. Napa Valley. Rupert has it. Oh, it's pretty. Look, it's like fall here again. It is. We see in fall. one quarter mile, all the turn time. right, then arrive at destination. So they have a rumor has that we can sleep behind the library. It says 0.2 miles. Looks like a big fancy little town. Look how cute it is. It's very fancy. Is the Nutcracker only in place? Uh, you could probably watch a TV show of it too. But it's, it's always a play though, or a ball ballet. But I've seen cartoons of it too. This is Yautaville. It's a cute little town in Napa. Um, I'm not sure, if, but there's a statue of a Seward, a Seward Johnson statue. He did these life-size life -size bronze statues. I believe he was a descendant. I think his grandfather started Johnson & Johnson. Anyway, very cute town here. Lots of money, as you would expect. I have my doubts that we're going to be able to sleep tonight behind the library like some other Iowa overlanders have. It just seems too nice. We'll see what happens. Good morning. Had a pretty quiet night in Napa, Yountville, Yountville. There, in the morning there were some, uh, they were going to lay some block down. It's next, to, it's next to a really expensive spa and a big huge semi came in next to us. It's not a big deal, but this lady with his uh, big suburban came flying in there and we heard thousand dollars an hour or something like that. I don't know, they're being too loud for the people right next to the spa. So anyway, long story short, they, they bugged out. We bugged out at the same time. We, re we drove down the road a little bit, just pulled over in this, this pull out here and cleaned up and had breakfast and stuff. Now we're headed to Santa Rosa, if there's anything left of it. And we are going to go to Charles Schultz Museum. He was born in Minneapolis, lived in St. Paul, Colorado Springs, back to Minneapolis. And he's the sixth top grossing dead person in the entire world, I guess. Still makes $30 million a year. He made 30 to $4 million annually from the 60s on. And his, he had a, I think, I don't know, his gross or net lifetime income of $1.1 billion. The guy was a powerhouse, I never knew. And I knew he was successful, but geez, that's a lot of money. All right, it's wet and rainy here in Northern California. <laughs> Like it was last time we were here. Camper gets damp. Bath towels don't dry by the next morning. Kind of yucky. All right, let's go. Wildfires were. Got, got a lot of uh, houses with just chimneys. Look at there, it's just a fireplace there, Isaac. The cars all burnt up. Museum and Research Center. Research Center. Trying to find better forms of beagles. Figure out how Charlie Brown can kick that ball. There you go. Speed bump. I see a sleeping snoopy over there. Is there a parking up here? Yeah. Nice. Here's my lunchbox I have and still have growing up. You sure it's not that one? It's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Are you sure it's not that one? 
Oh, I'd love to have that one. Yeah, that one's awesome. They have my lunchbox. <laughs> yep. I had, Snoop, I had Snoopy sheets and Snoopy uh, comforter too. I think.